Hey folks, it's Mr. Parsons here to explain today's assignment, which is the class readings on racial identity. These class readings are a little different than previous class readings. So let's talk about what's gonna be different about today's assignment. To begin with, this text set has three texts, which is one more than previous sets of class readings. As a result, I don't think it makes sense to do all the readings in the same day. So we're gonna focus on one reading at a time and annotate it for both up, down, both, and why, and focus questions. Today's focus is reading number one. And once again, our job is to annotate it for up, down, both, and why, and the focus questions. So let's take a look at what that looks like. When you go into the document, you're going to see that right on the, on the front page is a context box for reading number one. You get background, YouTube links that uh, support the reading, uh, key vocab that you should understand in order to, to really understand the text, and then the focus questions. Below that, you'll see the class reading, and this is where I want your annotations to take place. As you're reading, you're gonna be having up, down, and both responses. Does part of the text make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel both? Why are you having those reactions? What's happening in the text to cause that? These are your up, down, both, and why annotations. In this particular part of the text, this teacher, Mrs. Greeter, assumes the student is from China because of his ethnicity. He tells her San Francisco, and she quickly corrects herself, but we can assume that this does not make him feel good. So for me, that makes me feel down. As a teacher, I always want to honor and respect the heritage of my students. Your response to that might be different based on the way that you read the text. Once again, two to three up, down, or both annotations for this document. Once you're done with your up, down, both annotations, now it's time to consider the focus questions. In the context box at the beginning, you will find right at the end, the two questions that I'm asking you to answer. Once you've got to this point, you copy and paste your responses into a comment. So once again, I copied the questions, pasted them into a comment box, and now I can begin writing my response. One thing that I want you to consider is this. Very, uh, uh, very easily, you can at me in your response by typing at and BP, and then just clicking on my email, and it will email me your responses, which allows me to review them for you and respond with feedback, um, and this can be particularly useful if you're trying to, to score your best on this assignment or if you just are maybe a little bit confused or um, if you just want me to check what you've written. It's a really cool way of creating a dialogue about your writing. Once you have annotated this text for up, down, both, and why, and the focus questions, you are done with this assignment for today. I encourage you to go ahead and read reading two or reading three um, until the time is up, but I do not want you to annotate two or three today. That is for another time. If you have any questions about today's assignment, don't be afraid to hit me up in class. Once again, this is a 10 point assignment and we will be talking about American born Chinese in class once we get done. Enjoy.